If you're looking to buy your first pair of Doc Martens and you're not too quite sure where to start, this video is for you. In this video, the topics that I'm going to be going over are how to find your perfect size for Doc Martens, how to style your Doc Martens, how to break into your Doc Martens, also how to clean your Doc Martens, how long do Doc Martens last, and finally, which Doc Martens should you buy first. Hopefully, these topics are something that you're interested in, so let's get into it. When it comes to finding the perfect size for your Doc Martens, people usually say Doc Martens are true to size, which that doesn't mean anything. Like, what does it mean? True to my size, your size, things like that. It's very confusing. Another complex thing is that Doc Martens do not have half sizes. For example, I wear a nine and a half in Americans. So when it came to me choosing my Doc Martens, certain things that I had to consider was my feet. The biggest tip that I'll give you is it depends on your feet. Do you have wide feet, narrow feet? Because if you have wide feet, I always say go a size up. For example, me, I wear a nine and a half. If I had wide feet, I'll wear a size 10. But since I don't have wide feet, what I did was went a size down to a size nine. The reason why I say that is because your Doc Martens, you're going to have to break into them. Once you break into them, the leather will stretch, meaning that whatever size, that half size below, is going to stretch and form exactly to your feet. So you're not going to have any problems once you break into them. When it comes to breaking into your Doc Martens, it is like a rite of passage. There are so many different ways to break into your Doc Martens. I have seen so many multiple ways online and even in person that people tell me how they break into their Doc Martens. For me in particular, the way that I break into my Doc Martens was according to the website, it was very simple, very easy. I double socked and also I put the Wonder Balsamic from the Doc Martens. I just put it on there and increase how much I walked every day. So gradually, I'll walk more and more with my Doc Martens on, and eventually, I broke into them. How can you tell you're broken into them? They just feel very comfortable. The shoes will mold into your feet. But other ways that I've seen people broke into their Doc Martens was this YouTuber, which I can't remember his name right now, but I'll link his channel below. He had put, I believe, mink oil on it, and it looked shiny, but it looked like it break right into his feet very fast, very easy. Another way that I've seen, which is a little bit more crazy, I've seen people like take showers in their Doc Martin to loosen up the leather. I've seen people blow dry their Doc Martens. I've seen people use like, what is it, the shoehorn to stretch their Doc Martin so that it can break into it faster. I mean, there's been so many different ways to break into your Doc Martens, but just be careful because some of them are a little bit extreme and imagine buying a pair just to break them or they're not usable anymore. So comment down below on some of your ways that you break into your Doc Martens. Hopefully you can help somebody else. Cleaning your Doc Martens is totally up to you. Some people like their Doc Martens shiny and clean while others, they like that rugged, rough, a little bit dirty look, which is totally fine. But for me, the way that I clean my Doc Martens, I'm very simple. I just go about it according to their website. Doc Martens, they just said you get a damp uh, cloth, you wipe down any dirt or anything like that, and then after, you use the Wonder Balsamic, you wipe it down, and you just let it sink into the leather. And eventually, they should be fine. I do this every couple of months. I don't clean mine every day or every, you know, too often, but some people, they clean theirs annually. So this all depends on you. Another way to clean your Doc Martens, I've seen people use polish, I've seen people buffer their Doc Martens, and I've seen people shine their Doc Martens. So it's all up to you, your style, how you want your Doc Martens to look like. There's multiple ways to do things when it comes to Doc Martens. And also another tip, depending on the leather that you do have, the cleaning might vary a little bit because for example, the crazy horse leather, every time you want to polish it or clean it, it's going to get darker. So it's just something to remember while you're cleaning your Doc Martens. When it comes to styling your Doc Martens, 
this is like a crucial point which for me in particular i'll say styling your doc martens is all up to you simply because it's you expressing yourself i don't want to tell you or show you exactly how to style your doc martens but doc martens are very versatile that you can take it and style it for your own i've seen so many different types of styles when it comes to doc martens you can go clean you could go grunge you can do so many different alterations when it comes to you you styling your doc martens i don't personally want to say this is exactly how you style this or that just go out there express yourself that's how you style your doc martens technically i don't feel like there's a wrong way to go when it comes to doc martens i mean just express yourself once you bought your Doc Martens, how long are they gonna last you? Doc Martens are very durable shoes. Let's just talk about how Doc Martens are typically made. Usually the upper is leather, and then you got that iconic stitching around, and then after, you got the sole. The sole is the air wear, like bubble technology, which air pockets makes it very comfortable for you once you break into it. Also, Doc Martens, they can last for years upon years to come, depending on your use. If you use it every day, maybe you're going to get a good three, maybe four years of use. But if you don't, I've actually seen someone who had Doc Martens 10 years later and they still look good, they took care of it, and all of that. For me personally, I think Doc Martens are good for the investment because they can last a long time if you take care of them of course finally this is a very difficult question but it's something that can help people out the question is which doc martens to buy first as a first time doc martin purchaser or buyer which doc martens should you buy there's so many different types of doc martens depending on your purpose and uh what you're going to do with the doc martens but for me in particular just by doing process of elimination the best and i'll say the most versatile doc martens has to be the 1460s the reason why i chose the 1460s just because of how versatile it is you can take it to work you can dress it up you can dress it down and it's still fine it's good for male or female and also it looks good when it's clean or when it's dirty there's so many different things that you can do with your 1460s and also it's good for any type of weather condition during the summertime is good during the uh, fall spring winter 1460s are amazing and that's why they sell so much because of just how versatile the 1460s are so what do you think what should be your first doc martens if you had to go back in the past let me know down below thanks for watching if this video helped you out please please give it a like and uh subscribe if you like doc martens and want to continue this conversation thanks for watching i'll see you next time